Hello everyone and welcome to another Right Time Resume Service job search tip. In this case today will be a video. We're going to be looking at how to use LinkedIn as a job search tool. The first thing I would like to do is show you my profile. My profile is not by any means one of the best on LinkedIn, but if you look at my profile and please feel free to go look me up on LinkedIn I do have it filled out fairly completely I have my job experiences my education I have featured skills endorsements and so on and I will do another video on different sections of LinkedIn from my desktop because I can go into a little bit more detail uh, today is going to be basically on how to apply for a job from your phone on LinkedIn. So what we're going to do is go over to the briefcase icon, click on it, and it will take you to uh, a job search page, jobs that are recommended for you, also if you have any applied jobs or saved jobs, and any job searches that you have done recently. To do a new job search, you click up at the top where it says search by job uh, search by title, keyword, or company. And in this case, um, just do administrative assistant and click on it. And if you'll notice, I had left off the T. It gives me the correct job title. It will also, just like Google will, ask you if you actually meant to search for what you typed in. In this case, I did not. So we'll stay with administrative assistant. It's defaulting to the Houston area for a few, but it also picks up San Francisco because I haven't entered a location. If you click on location, it will give you a few options. It will give you the option of current location, which is what I clicked on first and it picked up I was in Houston. You can do profile location in the event that you're looking at this, maybe you're out of town, visiting relatives or friends, but you are on the job search and that's not something that you really take a whole lot of time off of. So you can also search by your profile location or if perhaps you're moving your profile location is still showing where you're at, but you know that in six months or three months you'll be moving across the country. You can also just simply enter in a zip code. In this particular case I entered a Houston zip code. So it's picking up administrative assistant jobs that are in the Houston area. And one of the things you can do because it, for example, Houston covers a large amount of real estate. So what I would like to do is you can filter what you want by clicking on the three bars up the top that you saw. You can filter how far away you want it to be. Uh, 10 miles, exact location. You can go up to 75 miles, up to 100 miles. Most of the time you're probably going to want to stay in the 25 miles depending on what you're looking for and how hard it is to find. You can also sort by the most relevant or the most recent. We'll say the most recent that's been posted. You can show only jobs that apply with a profile. I would not recommend that because there are going to be many organizations that may show a job on LinkedIn but they're going to want an actual resume. You can filter by date posted. You click on it, it past 24 hours, past week, past month. That is probably going to depend on how often you actually come look at this particular job search experience level if you are an internship an associate entry level mid to senior whatever your particular skill set and experience would indicate job type full-time or part-time industry job function all of these are going to be even company if you're looking to apply at a particular company so all of these are nice filters to look at that will help you narrow down your job search. So we're done on that. And we're looking in the Houston area, about 25 miles out. 
if you look at some of these positions they will tell you the LinkedIn symbol with easy apply but what that means is you can apply directly from LinkedIn it could be applying with your profile it could also mean uploading your resume and not actually having to go to a company's website let's look at the executive assistant for fitness studio one of the nice things you can look at is when you click on it it gives you a good job description now I'll tell you right now that a lot of companies may not give you as much of a detailed job description as this particular one does but it does give you an idea of what the job requires you look at it and you go I like this one I think I want to I think I want to apply for this so you can do easy apply now let's say you're again you're visiting friends or family and you don't have time to go through the application process but you say I really want to look at this job when I get home to my computer I want to apply for this or tonight when I get back to the hotel I'll do it from my phone but I don't have time right now you can save it if you go back to the page where it's showing all of your jobs you'll go back one more time and one more time several of them uh, you click on save jobs and it will show you the jobs that you have saved now in this particular one you want to do easy apply so you click on easy apply it will bring up your email and your telephone number you can email I'm sorry upload your resume most of the time you're gonna have to put a phone number in order for the submit application button to ungrate out so that you can actually click it in this particular case I'll put five 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 Oops. see then the submit application button will allow you to do it I would recommend if you have a resume on your phone I would recommend also uploading that PDF form if at all possible it allows you to keep any formatting that you've done on your resume but a lot of employers even though they allow you to apply with your profile don't a lot of them still would prefer a, a resume in fact if you read in the details it may tell you you have to submit a resume I didn't look at this particular one that closely but I would read all of course you want to read all the details and it will tell you but I would always even though it says optional I would always submit uh, a resume one that is tailored to the job if possible if not a nice clean general resume tailored is always better so you've put your telephone number you've uploaded your resume and you submit your application that's all you have to do now let's go back and find one that doesn't have the easy apply uh, I apologize my phone is frozen for some reason we'll go ahead and go with this senior executive what's going to happen when you click apply on this one is it's actually going to take you to the company's website to apply for the position in this particular case it's saying even though it's on LinkedIn it's not available and that will happen occasionally don't get discouraged if you see that just go on to the next to the next search and we'll need to enter another location again here we go here's let's find one LinkedIn has made it really easy to apply for jobs so a lot of them are going to be easy apply let's see if this one will just take me to the website and actually be there apologize my internet is running a bit slowly today so I may have to just cancel out of this so we'll go ahead and cancel out of that I'll try it one more time and see if it here we go uh, this takes you to their website there will be many jobs on LinkedIn like that 
Not all of them are going to be easy apply. If that's all you want, you can go back to the settings up here and choose apply with profile. I just as I said before, I would not recommend doing that all of the time because you may miss out on some really good jobs. You can look and see there are quite a few jobs on here that don't have that easy apply option. And that is pretty much it. Once you've applied for a job, of course, uh, all of these are older jobs that I uh, I'd applied for when I was looking for a job. But it is a nice thing. It helps you keep track of what you've applied for. And it's all in one app. Again, I will go, do more LinkedIn apps but videos. But this particular video is one I wanted to do. I had a LinkedIn video, but it was several years old. So I wanted to do the new the new version of LinkedIn. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel if you find some value in this video and feel free to comment with questions or comments to this video. Uh, I would love to get feedback from everyone. Thank you and have a, a great afternoon.